Romeo is an excellent trainer. He inspires others and changes their lives. He's also a man of faith. You can talk about Fife's stats, his U and I commitment, or his 1,000 career points. But don't forget to talk about his character. While players are sad she won't be here at Warburg anymore, they know she'll do good things at Iowa. Good morning and welcome to Cedar Valley Today. I'm Tyler Metcalf. Warburg College will begin celebrating its homecoming this week with their theme, Shine Your Armor. Juliana Olagi, member of the homecoming committee, reveals what work goes in to make this fun week happen. Three Warburg athletes have been named Iowa, Collegiate, Iowa Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Athletes of the Week. Ashlyn Baggy of Women's Cross Country was named Runner of the Week. Baggy placed 10th out of 528 runners this past weekend at the UW Oshkosh Invite. Beth Crow was named Defensive Player of the Week for Women's Soccer. She is now a six-time Defensive Player of the Week. And Catherine Nasby on the volleyball team was also recognized. She was named Defensive Player of the Week. She and her team remain at the top of league standings. Last night, Warburg College's National Society of Leadership and Success held an event with special guest businesswoman Barbara Corcoran. If you're looking to adopt a dog, Paws Amore has many options for the Cedar Valley. The Warburg campus radio station KWAR traveled to Des Moines yesterday to the Iowa College Media Association Awards. Senior wrestler Kenny Martin is trying to accomplish something that few ever have at Warburg College. Cedar Valley Today's Tyler French has more about Martin's attempt at history. Romeo Jumessi is a person you should know. As the director of personal training and group fitness at the W, Romeo has an impact in this community. The man with the constant positive attitude loves what he does. The reason why I'm so passionate about what I do is because I love seeing people moving from point A to point B. I love making a difference into people's life. Romeo has been working with a W member, Susan Vallum, for a few years now. Once unable to go upstairs, Susan's life has been changed. Just ask her yourself. Actually given me my life and my mobility back. Uh, I have a lot more balance. Again, I don't have any pain. I can walk up and down stairs, uh, move really quite well. Romeo doesn't just make his clients physically healthier. He helps brighten their day with his attitude. He's so motivational. He's always up. He uses a variety of exercises. He pushes you to do the best that you can be. By me having a bad attitude would affect three or four or five people or my whole staff. So I have to come in with a positive attitude, you know, and, and be that leader, you know, that is always positive among them. Romeo is an excellent trainer. He inspires others and changes their lives. He's also a man of faith. First for me, as a man of faith, a man of, you know, a believer of Jesus Christ, that has always been my, my drive. I want to live a lifestyle that demands an explanation. It's safe to say Romeo Jumessi loves what he does. Leadership matter because people matter. And our greatest calling in life is to love God and love people. Reporting for Cedar Valley Today, I'm Tyler Metcalf. 1,000 career points. Most all-time rebounds in school history. You and I basketball commit. Those are all things that Waverly Shell Rock's Austin Fife can check off his list. The next thing up, state championship. We want to be playing our best basketball right now against these teams so we can take it into districts and then hopefully fall down in the state and then deep into the state tournament. Fife started playing basketball like you would imagine at a young age. His first word, ball. My first memory is, I very vividly remember it, but I was on one of those mini hoops. I had a little ball and I remember making my first basket. Everyone in his family has claimed a state title. His dad in basketball, mom in softball, and sister in swimming. While he's still looking for his own hardware, he's bought into what Coach has to say. Everything we do, we do it for a reason. Uh, we need to trust the process. We need to really try to focus on getting better each day. Coaches and teammates agree that Fife's 20 points and 13 rebounds per game help everyone out. Oh, it's the best thing in the world. I mean, I'm just a little point guard, and all I got to do is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And he's such a well-rounded player, and he's worked really hard at developing his whole game. You can talk about Fife's stats his U and I commitment, or his 1,000 career points. But don't forget to talk about his character. Uh, he's such a great kid and, and a trustworthy kid and a respectful kid and, and uh, can't say enough about his character. I still want to focus a lot of my stuff around character also and be nice to people and show that aspect of it. As great as Fife is on the hardwood, he's even better off of it. And even though his Gohawk basketball career is coming to an end, 
He's hungry for more. Really big goal of mine to, I really want that state championship. Reporting for Cedar Valley Today, I'm Tyler Metcalf. And one athletic trainer for Warburg has the opportunity to go back to Division I. I was able to talk to Emily Link about her new opportunity. Emily Link has been the athletic trainer at Warburg for four and a half years, overlooking practices, filling up water bottles, and checking up on her athletes is only a small portion of what she's done. And serving as an athletic trainer isn't all she's good for. She's very selfless. She is always giving to us. Um, she's very relatable. Um, she's like a best friend to a lot of us, and that's probably what I'll miss most. Link will be taking her personality and talents to the University of Iowa to serve as an assistant athletic trainer. It was definitely a hard decision. Um, I absolutely loved it here, and I've been here for a while. Um, but yeah, it was definitely, definitely a hard, hard choice to make. At Warburg, Link was responsible for nearly every team on campus. At Iowa, she will only have one focus. Women's gymnastics is just my, my priority there. Um, so just to make sure I take care of all the day-to-day -day stuff with them and um, make sure they're all handled. While players are sad she won't be here at Warburg anymore, they know she'll do good things at Iowa. I think she's fully capable, for sure. Um, the gymnastics team there is very fortunate to be getting her and her skill and her knowledge. Now, an empty chair in an empty office that overlooks the training room is going to be without Emily Link, a place that she will dearly miss. I've never felt not appreciated here or not a part of something big, and that's probably what I'll miss the most, is just the people. Link begins her new journey today in Iowa City. Reporting for Cedar Valley Today, I'm Tyler Metcalf.